Have you ever tried something scary in your life, especially for the first time? How would you respond? Perhaps you want to scream very loud. Perhaps you get butterflies in your stomach. Or perhaps you just want to close your eyes and not even think about it. Fellow Toastmasters and friends, Come back with me to September 2003 when I auditioned for American Idol. <laughs> I was excited about the opportunity to perform in front of Randy, Paula, and Simon. Unfortunately, as soon as I began my audition, Randy held a white sheet of paper to cover up his face and giggled throughout the entire audition. Paula got all into it, but Simon just kept frowning. I kept trying to entertain them. She bangs, she bangs. Oh baby, when she moves, she moves. I go crazy. But Simon stopped me at the middle of my chorus and said, thank you, thank you. You can't sing, you can't dance, so what are you going to say? I was shocked. I didn't know how to respond. Fortunately, I remember what my parents taught me. It's okay to fail if you try your best. That's why I was able to summon up the courage and tell Simon I already gave my best. I have no regrets at all. Right after I got famous from the American Idol audition, Uh, I, I thought my life would return to normal. I thought that was the end of the road. Suddenly, four months later, I saw myself on TV again. <laughs> right after a night they broadcast my audition, I got over 150 emails for movie and television appearance opportunities. Wow. <laughs> but unfortunately, on that same night, I got insulted by the media worldwide. William Hong is the worst singer ever. <laughs> William Hong portrays the biggest Asian stereotype. Go back to school. Rumors, ridicule, rejection. I then asked myself a profound question. Why did I audition for American Idol? <laughs> Little did I know, I was about to find a profound answer. You see, when I was growing up, I started enjoying karaoke since I was 10 years old. Fast forward 10 years later, I saw an opportunity for a UC Berkeley talent show. I had no expectations. I just thought I was going to have fun. But to my great surprise, I won. I actually won a DVD player. <laughs> <laughs> After I got famous for my American Idol audition, I, my, one of my fans created a website for me, and I got over 8 billion hits in less than a month. Then I got invited to perform at a UC Berkeley's men's volleyball game. Right after the performance, one of the executives from Koch Records walked up and gave me a $25,000 check for a record contract. Could you believe it? Wow. However, none of that would have happened if I gave up on myself. And it would have been really easy for me to give up on myself because of all the negative criticism. But one thing that kept me going it wasn't money, it wasn't fame, it was my fans. To this day, I still get bombarded for requests for pictures and autographs. And more importantly, my fans would encourage me by saying, William, you're the best. William, you're my inspiration. William, you're my hero. If my fans wouldn't give up on me, why would I give up on myself? 
with this new understanding, the next time they say, William Hung is the worst singer ever. I heard, keep going, because your next fan could be right around the corner. The next time they say, William Hung portrays the biggest Asian stereotype ever. I heard, don't worry about them. You can become their positive role model. The next time they say, go back to school. I heard, go back to school. <laughs> it's not what they say. It's what you hear. You probably dealt with naysayers throughout your life. They would, no matter what you do, they will tell you, no, you can't do this, it's too hard. No, you can't do this, it's too risky. But ask yourself, isn't there a first time for everything in life? Instead of worrying about failures, why not embrace the opportunity to try new things so you can live your life without regret?